Hey, how's it going? Have you ever heard of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Yeah. Yeah. You believe in Jesus? You want to walk and talk about it? Okay. You from town here? You from in town here? Yep. How long have you been living here? Okay, cool. Well, my name is Brandon Potter. So it's nice to meet you. Brandon Potter? Yep. Aaron Edwards. Aaron Edwards, cool. Yeah, I pretty much lived here my whole life. Moved away for a little while in Springfield pretty, for like uh, a year. Pretty ballsy doing the whole way. Hey, have you heard about Jesus? <laughs> yeah. Did you allow people to answer you? No, uh, I don't really. This is the first time you coming up to somebody and asking them, actually. Really? Yeah, I got some gospel tracks. If you want one, you take one. Kind of bulky, but no, wanted to make it easier. I got some smaller ones I'm making, but right on, man. So what inspired you to do this? Well, I got saved. I got born again. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I had a, I've been in jail a few times and stuff before I was saved. I've been saved about a year. Yeah. So, you, uh, you know, no. See, I don't believe in de denominations. I don't think the Bible teaches that. See, I'm just a strict Bible Christian. I believe that the Bible is the Word of God. I believe that the King James Bible. Huh? The King James Version? Yeah. You know, there's a lot of books that are in the King James Version. You ever read the book of Enoch? No, I know, of the, I know of the book point. of Enoch. No. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's See, like it, it contradicts the Bible in a lot of ways. Well, so it can't be included into the canon. That's Enoch is known as the grandfather. Okay. Well, I need to search the Book of Enoch more, but we could discuss that sometime well, if you want to. Well, it's just like the easiest one to relate to people yeah. that aren't into Christianity so much, because yeah. it's kind of like sci-fi book reading. You know, it's, it's interesting. There's, there's stuff going on. <coughs> you know the story about Enoch? No. So, then the time... I know Enoch walked with God, and then God took him. Right. He's like a type for the rapture. Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I believe in science. Yeah. It depends on what I mean. Science is. I don't believe in evolution. No. Right. So, I guess I believe in what they call observable science, things that you can see and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of things in science that are based on faith, you know, or just speculation, sure. whatever. They really don't have proof for things. Yeah. And there's a lot of just outright lies and stuff too that they teach that are science. That. Absolutely. I mean, I believe that the Bible is true. You know, all of it. So. And I believe in creation, so if I don't believe in evolution, I believe in a young earth, a literal six day, uh, you know, six day creation. Well, all I would ask is that you research pre King James Christianity. Yeah. What about it? What do you know? What do you know? How much do you know about Egyptian? I don't know a lot about that. Well, I'd say that it's pagan, it's wicked, it's evil. <laughs> it's not Christianity. Well, then you don't understand it, because it's, it's actually much the same. Yeah. Just different names. Do you watch that movie on YouTube or whatever that teaches all that stuff? Well, I heard about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I right. Heard about yeah. It, but, but I would not agree with that. It is a fact, though, about uh, the 12 disciples and that. So what do you believe then? Do you have a faith? Do you believe, believe God? Do you believe science? I believe in science. So you don't believe you believe that everything came if from I a rock know, or came from nothing? I know that two positives make a negative okay. nature. I know that understanding of the 
understand the forces of nature, gravity, nuclear energy. What about logic, though? Don't you think since that you see logic. something, that since there's a creation, there has to be a creator? That's logic. You exist, I exist. An answer for something you can't explain is what that is. Okay. I'm going to listen to it when you want to continue the conversation. Yeah. So, I mean, the only thing that science can't prove is the singularity. Like, all things at one time, all matter was, uh, let's say, the size of the head of a pin. And then something happens. So they call yeah. it the Big Bang Theory. Right? I'm sure you've seen yeah. the TV show. But uh, all, all uh, the elemental charts, you know about the elemental chart, the elements? A little bit. Well, everything that exists in reality exists everywhere. Particles this and that, that's going together, they make something up. It's spontaneous and unexplainable is, is uh, life, right? Because there's only so many planets throughout the solar system and through all the galaxies that are even capable of harboring life. And that's a miracle. So, that I can't explain, but I can take science and I can, I can see logic. Yeah. Know? Or I could read a book written thousands of years ago, and say, okay, well, that's logic, you know. Well, when I so where my, are you headed? Are you going to Jim Bob's here? Yeah? Office, you know, I'm not going to go down there, man. I'm going to go ahead and go. But right, nice buddy. talking to you, what, what is it again? Andrew. Brandon Potter. Brandon Potter, right on. So, uh, yeah, I'd say you need to repent, man. <laughs> Believe in the gospel. Right. But, you know, check it out well, more. Do more research. Okay, man. God bless. Yep. Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven.